Hey guys, welcome back to Savage Builds. So today we have the Rocker Scale Model Vehicle in the 1860s. That's when this was made. Prime Steam Express, a 180th scale train model. So here it is. And so this set, it says that it's a self-assemble. So you assemble it yourself. It requires no glue, which is something I really like about Rocker, and it's still sturdy. And it has a detachable carriage, so this can actually come off. So I'm actually hoping that it's gonna have a lot of things, um, like the since it's wood, I don't know if the wheels will actually be able to move and stuff. Hopefully it will, but I'll get into that after I'm done building it. So if you can see on the, on the back, it has some of the features. So on the back, let's read it first. It has um, the front, it has headlights, it has the chimney, it has a steam whistle, and it also has a crank right here, crankshaft and connecting rod. And then I think back here it just says detachable carriage for storage right here. So here it is. Also it has a, a QR code or whatever it's called for you to scan for videos. It says scan the QR code for display video. So I don't think it's a video asking or showing you how to build it, but it's right here. Anyways, um, it's also designed by Robotime. But let's let's open this up right now and uh, let's build it. Okay guys, so I took the plastic wrap off of it and so as usual, I'm gonna show you what it comes with inside and then I'm gonna build it. So of course, the inside will probably be plastic wrapped also. So I'm not sure if I'll skip or show you guys stuff right here. Right so of course, we always have the happy, well, happy question mark. Then we are also happy and then, you know, the review stuff, this doesn't matter. So on the inside, um, you can see it says more than a puzzle right here. And it has uh, some sandpaper right here. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. I think this is five, five wooden sheets right here. So let's open this up. Okay guys, so we have this opened up and so we can take a look at all this. So as I said, we have our sandpaper and we have this, um, Rocker, more than a puzzle. Um, and it says, please scan QR code for customer service, latest news, assembly videos, and special offers. So you can use this for that. Here we have, let's see, was I right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. Our five uh, wooden plates or whatever right here. And so, yeah, that's, that, well, this is, you know, the stuff you build. Um, in here, we have our instructions right here. So let's see, how many pages is it? Oh, it's just one big thing. So um, there's 18 steps in total. And yeah, so I'm gonna build this and then we're gonna get on to the features in reviewing this, so bye. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I just finished, um, I just finished the, the Rocker Prime Steam Express train. So this was a fun build. It was also one of those builds where you're looking down a lot. So my neck is really sore, but um, who cares? Um, so this build, I timed it and I have the exact time. This build took two hours 48 minutes and 59 seconds. So say three hours. So 
This is one of their smaller builds. So for three hours and it only costs $22, that's already a really good deal. Um, this build, it, as you can see, there looks like a lot of fragile pieces. So if you saw in the time lapse or just right here, I did need to use super glue one or two times to fix broken pieces. For example, still not in there that good. For example, um, right here, I broke this off right here. I don't know if you can see that that well. I broke this off right here, so I had to glue it right there to keep it back, but right where my nail is. Right there, that's where I broke it. I'm also trying to put it in. So thank, so yeah, so you have to make sure that you're, you're really careful with this because this is a fragile build. Um, also, thankfully I didn't with the bending this part right here, the roof, and then this part right here. These are the, the parts where you bend. And, and, and for this part, I don't really have any advice, but I do have to say this. It's pretty difficult to get it onto the part that you're supposed to. Um, this build, I would say, um, let's see. I don't know, it doesn't really say what kind of level this is, honestly. Oh, actually it does, it says four out of five stars. That's accurate, that's actually pretty accurate. This was, I'm not gonna lie, this was a difficult build. And I do wanna say the most difficult thing about this build was this right here. And let me tell you why. This build was very difficult because, um, first off, I messed up. But second off, because if you see right here, so these, well, right here, you have two sides, right? And you have to stick them all in right here. So first you have to put this side on, then you have to balance all of these pieces right here onto one side and they fall over so many times. And then we also got a bendy piece right here too. So we have to make sure we get that accurate with, with the lines right here. And so it's just really difficult to, to get them all in. It, it is really hard. So that is, that is, it's, it's, it's nice because it's difficult. You know, you don't want something that you just, it's super easy to get it done in what, in 30 minutes an hour. So this was, I can't say it probably took me 30 minutes more because I messed up on some parts, but I mean, I mean, everybody's going to mess up sometime. So this build actually does have, it's detachable. As it said, this is the detachable. It hooks on, there's a hook right here and right here, there's a little thing right there. It just hooks on like this, and it's hooked on, there we are. So, um, one thing I thought it said, because if you say, see on the, on the back it says crankshaft and connecting rod, I think it says, and connecting rod right here. So that's talking about this part right here, I'm pretty sure. And if you're wondering if the, while the wheels are moving, these do not move up and down. Okay. It does not go up and down. It, it doesn't, it doesn't move. It's just decoration. But I mean, just look at this. It looks really nice. I really like this. I really like the old school vibes you get from this. Um, real quick. Let me see if you guys can see the table. You guys can see the table, correct? Yes, you can. Good. Okay. So, I mean, just look at the detail. There's a lot of detail put into this build right here. Um, it just just look at it it's just very i i i think it's really nice and I, i'm gonna love having it on my display so um some of the features it has here so at the beginning i said one thing that we really need to test that i would really like about it is if the wheels move so i'm not i think it's designed for the wheels to move but you know this plastic plastic table and everything and um if you sand sand which i didn't if you sand it it will probably um, be a lot better for them to move but the wheels so the outside part the out there's so there's two parts right here the inside circle it moves the outside circle does not so the wheels sometimes they move a little bit actually they do move so they do move i can't really see that much since there's one in front that doesn't move but, i mean it's going pretty smooth and i'm pretty sure it, it does move so if you see Yeah, they do move. Okay, they do move, guys. Also, another cool feature, we have a little storage compartment right here. So, you know, you can, if you want, you can put some stuff in there, right there. So, yeah. Um, also, right here, we see it has a cool little ladder for if somebody wants to climb on the top. We have the nice rocker, rocker right here and the design, you know. Um, 
it was pretty it was pretty cool you just have to make sure you follow the instructions so the instructions are very detailed and you have to make sure you follow those um with the detail they are if you see we have the steam engine right here the steam right here we have a bell pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be um if you guys hear a dog barking sorry that's my dog barking my dad's probably playing with him or something he only barks when he's getting played with so yeah. but um we see i don't know what this is really but you know i don't know what this is supposed to be we have this right here we have the inside the conductor's room it's pretty cool those are seats i didn't so if, I don't know if you guys can see inside, but it's cool. They have two little seats. I didn't know what those were at first, but they're seats. If you're wondering the doors, there are no doors to open anywhere in here. So the doors do not open at all. Um, but yeah, just look at the inside. It's just, it's, I mean, not the inside, but the outside, just the front of it. It looks really nice. I like it. Um, the inside, actual inside, we, sh we see these um, two, what do you call them? Gears. Uh, which help they don't actually move but I mean it's pretty cool on the front it looks kind of weird but this is how they wanted me to do it I thought that um, the two spread out dots instead of being right here on the bottom and then the two uh, dots that are together up on top but that's how they wanted it and here we see this is a light right here headlights and yeah I don't know what these are right here but I like the, the design right here and I think it looks really cool so yeah, this was the Rocker, this was the Rocker Prime Steam Express. So this, the, the link to this for Amazon will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, so is it worth it? I would say this is definitely worth the $22. I think that's what it was, $22. Definitely worth it. It's It has everything. It's a three hour build. You don't, three hour build. So that's that's really, it's a really good price. Um. I wouldn't say it's it's cheap and I wouldn't say it's expensive. It's right in the middle. It's, it's perfect. So, and it's really nice. Um, you know, rockers usually, um, what is it called? They have, usually it's for display, to put up for display. So yeah, um, just, I would definitely recommend this to you. It, it would be a great gift. I'm gonna keep it for display. Um, and yeah, so, uh, so yeah, sorry. Anyways, this is a great build. You should consider getting it. It's really nice. Uh, and if you don't have a lot of money to spend on something, this is it. 22, 25 bucks. It's right here. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe. You don't have to hit those notifications if you don't have to. And like I said before, I'm trying to post every single week. Uh, also, I'm still waiting on, um, on somebody. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you wanted to, somebody to comment on my last video was just saying if they wanted me to make uh, two small videos, which would be the rocker. I'll get them right here. If you wanted me to make these two, two uh, videos that will take like a week to make, the, the rocker, this um, rover, and this camera, which would be two separate videos, or I have another Nyquist, one of these, a sports car build that I won't tell you what it is, but a sports car build. The regular big ones that will probably take me two or three weeks to come out with. So if nobody answers, I'm probably just gonna go with the the sports car, the knifeless sports car. But if somebody does answer, like I said, um, you can see in the comment it says one, say one, or you can say the rocker, or you can say two, or the knifeless kit. So please go ahead and look at that video. Please comment and comment on any videos. Make sure you give me feedback and tell me what builds you want me to make for you. So thanks for watching and have a great day.